Hey Vikes, today in the show we will find out what's trending. Catch up on the singing Valentines. And we are going to hear from Mr. Bach about Battle of the Bands. Kira and I went around with singing Valentine's. Let's go check it out. Hi, it's Savannah. I'm outside the choir room. Let's head on in to learn a little bit more about singing Valentine's. Singing Valentine's are our opportunity to get out in the community and sing for the convalescent nursing homes. We also sing for individuals and give a personalized message uh, through song. Over the years, Seaman High School Show Choir has participated in delivering Singing Valentines. The money from Singing Valentines uh, helps to offset uh, costumes, uh, trips that we might take in the future, uh, any special music or props that we might need for the show choir. As far as I know, this goes back about 40 years. It's, it's been going on for a long time. I don't have a definite date when it started, but uh, it started under Maryland Free in the 80s sometime. This year, Singing Valentine's has raised about $1,400. Congratulations, show choir. No muscle-bound man gonna take my hand from my guy. My guy. No handsome face could ever take the place of my guy. Wow, that was cool. Now with the rest of your news. Sophomores, the SHS Bank is taking applications for the 2019 20. 21 banking classes. Applications are due by February 28th. Scholarship opportunity, seniors. The Seaman High School Alumni Association awards two $500 scholarships to graduating seniors. The deadline is March 1st. Cheerleading tryouts will be held March 23rd. Clinic will be from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Tryouts start at 1. A parent meeting is March 5th at 6 p.m. in the library. Packets may be picked up in the front office starting on March 6th if you can't attend. 27 History Day students qualify for state. Forensics had a great weekend at the Topeka West Invitational. The percussion ensemble had a fantastic performance at the Kansas Music, Music Educators Association Convention in Wichita, and the robotics team qualified for state. Congratulations, Vikes. Battle of the Vans is tonight. Here's Mr. Bach with more. Hi, Vikes. I'm here with Mr. Bach, and he's going to talk to us about Battle of the Bands. So, what is Battle of the Bands? Uh, Battle of the Bands is a, a really good time um, where we have four band, four um, student bands plus our faculty band compete with each other for a trophy, but um, all the proceeds go to the Candy Hefner House Fire Fund. She's a teacher here in the district. She's got a couple students at some of our schools. Um, her house burned down before the holidays, so the money's going to go to her family. Uh, why should people come? Um, first and foremost, the charitable giving, right, that spirit. But secondly, um, it's going to be a really fun time, um, just a time to get on your feet, clap, um, dance if you want to, jump around and be silly, um, and watch the faculty band make fools of themselves on stage. Um, is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, yes. So the doors are at 6.30, the show's at 7. It will be $5 tonight at the door. Um, and, you know, just come on out and uh, have a good time. Thanks, Mr. Bach. Now back to your anchors. Doors open at 6.30 p.m. Show begins at 7. Proceeds will go to support Ms. Candy Hefner and her family. Juniors, this is your last week to submit an application if you're interested in taking the intercept class inter next year. All applications are due March 1st. Yours is emailed next week notifying of your interview time. Safe prize winners. This week's safe prize gift card winners are Tatum Crow, Megan Carter, Zane Anderson, and Callie Anderson. Thank you for pledging to always wear your seatbelt. Stop by the security office to pick up your prize. If you want to be a winner, make sure to sign a safe pledge card in room N14. Now let's go <coughs> over to Savannah with sports. Attention! 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 Live at the Seaman High School Auditorium. Battle of the Band! Live rock and roll. Doors at 6.30, show at 7 p.m. Battle of the Band! Featuring... Femme Fatale. Kevin! 
right side down! Untamed Mustang! <laughs> Wet Gravel! Battle of the Band! Three dollars in advance. Five dollars at the door. We'll sell you the seat, but you won't need it, because you'll be on your feet all, all night, night long! long. Baseball tryouts start tonight. Freshmen will meet in the locker room at 3.30 and upperclassmen will meet at 4.30. The wrestling team competed at state this last weekend with 11 qualifiers. The Vikes were able to have many of them place top 10. Seaman Baseball is hosting a dodgeball tournament at Seaman Middle School on March 2nd at 8.30. Registration deadline is February 28th. All students who are interested in participating in Vikings United 5 on 5 soccer, please come see Mr. Cromie. Now over to weatherman Josh for the weather. Happy Monday to you. We are tracking a very sharp temperature gradient for our highs today in southern Kansas, making it into the upper 50s and low 60s where we have more snow on the ground due to the blizzard stuck in the teens and 20s we're gonna fall right in between with afternoon temperatures in the 30s now we are tracking a chance of precipitation as we head toward the middle of the week this is tuesday night into wednesday morning some light freezing rain is going to be possible and that could create slick spots out on the roadways we're going to give a full detailed forecast on this tomorrow as confidence continues to increase but just keep that in mind for wednesday morning that commute could be quite slick. And now for your SCTV 7 day forecast you can see that we do get a little bit colder on Wednesday as well with highs back down into the 20s. Maybe a slight warm up toward the end of the week before some arctic air returns to the areas. Highs back down into the teens as we start March next weekend. Of course March 1st coming up on Friday. Now back to your anchors. Hey Savannah have you heard of LitMag? No I haven't. Let's go check it out. <laughs> The Seaman High School Literary Magazine is an annual publication that honors student writing and art. The school had a magazine five years ago, but now it is being revitalized under a new name and shifted focus. So the name of our magazine is Ravel Yost, and uh, it's a word that comes from Old Norse, so it's an ancient Viking word, and basically the word means to have enough light, light available to guide one's path. And we kind of play with that definition a little bit. Uh, we have a fantastic group that is uh, working uh, as staff members. Three seniors have played an instrumental part in the forming of the literary magazine. Uh, I read through all the uh, literary writings and stuff and choose which ones go in or not. I am the poetry editor, and so I'll pretty much be, uh, I'll pretty much be looking at people's uh, poetry and deciding what goes in each issue. Um, so I'm the arts editor and like I take our um, submissions of art and I'll decide what goes in the literary magazine. Submissions are taken and considered from all students. Submission boxes are located in many English rooms. For students looking to enter art, submit through the art rooms for pictures to be taken. The magazine will only be published on paper once a year and now is your chance to feature your creative work in the publication. So submit your writing and art. Make sure to submit. We're now going to leave you with a new segment of What's Trending with Kaylee. That's all for today's news. Have a great day, Vikes. Hey, Vikes. I'm Kaylee Workman, and I'm here to tell you what's trending. What's trending is a new segment we're putting in SVTV, and we want to hear from you about what's going on. This week's question is, what is your goals for the spring season? Don't forget to reply to us on our social media such as Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat using the hashtag SeamanTV. Have a great day, Vikes, and don't forget to reply to us to tell us what's trending.